My name is, hello, my name is Karen Barroso. Um, I'm one of the co-owners of Wajillo, Casa Oaxaca, and I grew up in Arlington. I'm Rolando, I'm the, the other half. Um, I've been in the food business for about 26 years now. I started as a dishwasher at my mom's place uh, a few years ago, and it's really the only thing I learned how to do. Um, I love to cook. What's and your specialty? Mexican food. Um, I grew up here, was born here, but every time I came back from Mexico to here, it was just so difficult finding the ingredients or the food, the Mexican food. So one day I just, I always cooked at home, authentic Mexican food. And um, one day he said, why don't we try opening a Mexican restaurant? That's how we, we started working. Yeah, so we thought it would be a success and people would love it because from where my mom is from is Cuernavaca, Morelos, and there's a lot of Americans that live there and um, they just love the food. Yeah. Yeah, they love yeah, it. From, from the beginning, we weren't really targeting the Hispanic or Latino uh, population in the area. We, we knew that in the neighborhood that where we opened up our first restaurant, it was all... Um, Well-traveled people. Yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't as diverse. It was, it was mostly, you know, Americans who, who uh, like to experience. So from the beginning, we, we knew that was going to be our target audience. Our biggest accomplishment has been um, showing the people here um, that Mexico is not... I mean... We did have that idea that people knew real good Mexican food, but you know, opening it up, people didn't know what a mole was. Mm -hmm. So we had to go explaining. People thought we were going to be Tex-Mex. So we had to like teach people and tell them, no, that's not real Mexican. That's something you would find in Texas or something. Mm -hmm. So that was a big accomplishment, like being in a restaurant in Arlington that didn't serve, um, you know, cheese all over tortillas or we would make our mole sauce from scratch and just explaining that or bringing a michelada that it's like a beer bloody mary people didn't know that even mojitos were like strange to them and you know 10 11 years and you know back then and i thought it was just you know we were groundbreaking we were coming in there and we were showing them something that they had not experienced and i think that was like great, our great success and after that other people started you know like other chefs that started you know um, doing authentic Mexican, yeah. Uh, that that has been in a success. I think that has been a, one of our great, you know, fulfilling. Um, well, we had um, Senator Reed that would come in there with his family and the Bush girls when they were in the area. Um, Jenna Bush. Yeah. Mm. They were like, you know, we're here undercover, but, yeah. you know, don't talk to us too much. But the good thing we saw is that they came back. And, you know, that, that was real good. Very nice. I even, I even got a hug one from, <laughs> from Jenna Bush after she, she was done. She left the mojitos. <laughs> after she was done with her meal, she gave me a, a hug. Uh, we need to get Obama there now. <laughs> I hear that's one of his um, favorite foods, Mexican. Mexican? Food. I didn't yeah, know that. Because he's from Chicago, and there's a big Mexican population down there. So that would be nice. I have to write a little letter inviting him. <laughs> I think it's believe in their product and give the best they can give. And um, a product from scratch has always been our, our success, you know. Like authentic. Authentic. And, the most, and try to get the ingredients. We, we, get, we locate our ingredients if it's from Mexico, Los Angeles, many places to try to give them the best flavors.